was leading for so long, but best results of the season. Yeah, I mean, like, definitely you can see a lot of riders have been improving, you know, in this class, the AB250. So uh, definitely there'll be more to come. Let's have a look at the race highlights as we try to work out our uh, audio problems. And from the very start, Yamamoto, who didn't have the very best of starts onto the first corner, but there he is on bike number one. He was always competing. And as you said, he had the straight line speed, which gave him an advantage. Yeah, I mean, he have the, the, the bike is there. The bike is there. I mean, uh, the, the speed is there. And the only thing is to, for him is how to use, make use the whole thing, the whole package, the whole bike, you know? I have the great speed there on the, on the front straight and the back straight. Happy Wap bike number 24 was shadowing his every move here, just in third place behind Voropong. And it looked as though Happy Wap's game plan was don't let Yamamoto get away, just track him, yes. take him on the last lap. Yes, that's, that's what uh, Happy Wap was thinking. Just make, make sure that, you know, pressurize him, pressure him, and make him uh, do a small mistake or something like that. But that would not prove to be the case, and Yamamoto, he was pretty faultless actually, wasn't he? He lost the lead once or twice, but I don't think it was from errors that he made. Nah, I think he, he knew that uh, he, he got the, 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 the speed on the bike that can pass everybody in the front straight or the back straight, so it doesn't really bother him that much. You're seeing him there in the white livery, just on the corners, just a little bit tentative, but on the main straight, powering past Emmanuel Pucha. Happy Watt again is the man right on his tail. It was a 12-lap race, and I don't think Yamamoto was outside the top four for anything more than the, the first corner when he dropped down into fifth, but there's Yamamoto. And at this stage, Happy Watt is really causing him one or two problems, but it's about now that Happy Watt just begins to drop away. There he is, dropping away bike number 24 off the tail end with two laps to go. And that gave Yamamoto a chance to show the aggression. Yes, so uh, he had the speed line, on, like I say, he had the speed line on the, on the front straight and the back straight. But his winning overtake comes at the, the last corner. This is the place where he overtook all the guys here. And from there he pulls, pull up and that is what I call aggressive. Okay, so take the tape of this one. Yamamoto, because at this stage he is able to use that straight line speed, crosses the line comfortably in first. Excellent result for Voropong in second, and Somkiat, who'd stuck to his task valiantly, gets his first podium of the finish as well. But the fist pump comes from the Japanese. Yeah, you can see he's very happy and. Uh... Satu, dua, dan tiga.